This is a super quick video on how to import context into New Panda. The first thing that you're going to want to do is save your data into comma separated value format if it's not uh, in that format already. In uh, most cases, you can uh, get your data um, into Excel or Excel-like format. And all you really need to do once it's in this format is go to File, Save As, and in the uh, Save As type, Simply choose comma separated value or comma delimited. A lot of your exporting programs will have that same a type of option when you uh, when they prompt you what kind of file you want to save. Then make sure that you save that file somewhere where you can quickly find it. I uh, like to use my my desktop because I can find stuff on there quickly, and then I like to name my uh, data appropriately, uh, maybe with the date. So. Uh, that I know where that's at. You, you're going to get a couple of notifications letting you know that the selected file type doesn't support workbooks that contain multiple worksheets, which is fine. I only have data on one sheet. If you have data on multiple sheets, you're going to have to save them out uh, each sheet up separately or save all the data onto one sheet first and say OK. You get another um, reminder that uh, if you have done any formatting to your Excel uh, spreadsheet, such as specifying um, cell sizes, widths, font, bold, uh, any kind of formulas or whatever, those will not be saved. Go on and say yes. And we're actually done with this file. We don't need it anymore, so we can, we can close it. <clears throat> All right. So the next thing that we're going to do then is within New Panda, we're going to uh, go to the Manage Your Contacts tab and we're going to go to Import and Export. Here's the Import Wizard. We're simply going to browse for the file that we just saved onto our desktop. We're going to click the Upload button. Uh, now here you can uh, map all your fields. Column headers are important in the original data file, so uh, make sure that you've got column headings column headings in your original data. You can map whatever fields that you want to map. That's where your column headings come in handy because what New Panda is looking at now is the column heading from the original data source. When you've got all your data mapped, we encourage you to map as much data as you can so that you can take advantage of all the features with New Panda, such as mailing labels, uh, home anniversary, um, and birthday, autopilot, etc. Excuse me, when you finish that, you're going to click Proceed. You'll come to the um, the import page. It's going to show you, um, basically, make sure that you've mapped your columns correctly. You want to make sure that you can scroll all the way over, depending on the, the fields that you've mapped, to make sure that your first name is in the first name field, last name in the last name field, email address in the email field, etc. You have an opportunity at this time to sign up select destination groups for your contacts. These are groups that already live in your new Panda Contact Manager. To select, um, you can hold your control or shift key if you want to select more than one group. Once you have uh, got your, your groups um, selected that you'd like to um, add your contacts to, you also have an opportunity, if you're one of our Real Estate Newsletter Edition users, to subscribe those contacts to your newsletter at this point. Um, and that will uh, subscribe all incoming contacts to the groups and to the um, subscriptions. If you notice that things didn't look correctly, use the Change Column Mappings button here. You can change your column mappings. When everything's good, you're going to select Accept and Import. You'll come to the Duplicate Handling page where you'll be given an opportunity to take a look at the new data, view the potential uh, duplicate if there is one, and determine how you want to handle the incoming record. Okay. Uh, if you get a lot of notifications here, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and uh, use uh, the, either the skip duplicates or the auto update and merge, which will, uh, will handle all the duplicates in the same manner for you. And when you're done, you're going to say process my choices. Okay, that is a super quick look at how to import contacts into New Panda.